Well, we got uh, two teal here. This is a blue wing teal, pretty obvious from the name. And this is a green wing teal. Green wing teal is actually the smallest duck in North America. And the blue wing teal is just slightly larger than the green wing. Well, Ron, we're out here catching and banding ducks tonight. Uh, we're targeting wood ducks mostly. It's our preseason banding period. It takes place in August and September. Yeah, we're doing it at night. We're catching birds with the airboat. We slowly uh, find them as they're going through the vegetation with the airboat. We spotlight them, and generally they won't flush from you. And then we slowly creep up behind them, and one of my good netters over here, uh, David Norris or Ben Lewis, uh, puts a net on them and scoops them up, and uh, that's basically how you do it. Using the airboat because it can go in real shallow water, it can ride right over the vegetation, so we can follow those ducks uh, when they're when they're moving through the vegetation. Uh, well, there's several different ways of catching ducks, from uh, catching them with a rocket net or a bait trap. This is a kind of a unique method that we use. Some other states actually use their hands to catch them. Uh, we, we use nets to catch the ducks, uh, and it's a little bit of an art to it. Uh, you you kind of have to look and see where they are, uh, where they're going in the vegetation, or, or look for uh, an opening area to, to catch the bird. What size is your pintail? Please give me your flyer. We're putting bands on these birds. We'll put leg bands on the on the legs, <clears throat> and uh, we're looking at their their movements, uh, their survival, how many get shot, how many make it to other states and get shot, and how many return in the future years. Uh, by hunters, this gives us an indication of how long they survive, what their hunting mortality is, and we use that information for setting hunting seasons, setting regulations on how many birds we can shoot, how long a season we can have, and. We treat the ducks real nice. As you can see, this duck is in real good shape. We'll just stick a leg band on it. We keep them in these crates over here. Uh, we'll only keep them for an hour or two for as long as it takes to band them. Uh, then we'll go back out tonight and let them go. So hopefully it'll be a little traumatic for them when we have them, but they'll be right back in the marsh tonight, and hopefully it'll be, you know, not that very stressful for them. Yep. You ready? Yep. Beautiful.